Hey guys, it's Rob. 371 days until I turn 30, and in the event that I freak out partway through this episode and start swatting at something, it's because there's a moth loose in the apartment and I can't seem to catch it. He's over there somewhere, watching me. Let's go ahead and get the check-in done and hope to God that we aren't attacked by some vicious insect. Um, the way it went up. I know I, I, know I said that uh, perhaps uh, things would be uh, super well controlled over vacation, uh, but apparently no amount of hiking could compensate uh, for uh, the, the, the vacation that I enjoyed, I guess. Um, the good news is, like, like oftentimes, um, this is like a colossal upswing that cannot possibly be as, as permanent uh, as, it, you know, uh, as, it, as it is bad. Um, so I, I suspect that back into my regular eating habits, you know, there's no way that I consumed an excess so high that uh, that's my actual, like, standing weight. It's probably some kind of retention of some sort. And on the story stuff, things are moving. Um, I, I actually sent uh, the sci-fi short story out to one of my beta readers already. I need to get the story out to the second one. Uh, and now uh, comes the point where I start digging into uh, the next the next edit wave on the novel. Um, and once again, I've started looking through uh, the feedback that I've got and reading it and um, having the same reactions that I did with the first wave of feedback, where the first time I looked at it, the moment I stumbled across the first critical comments, all of a sudden I'm like queasy and I just want to like scroll past it on the scroll wheel and like not, you know, not look at it. I need exposure therapy for for beta reading feedback. I'm just, I'm going to have to just sit down and look at it till I'm comfortable with it. If you are one of my beta readers and you are watching this episode, thank you. Uh, thank you for, um, as I've looked through some of the comments, thank you for not letting me get away with bad writing. Uh, even if it means when I look at your stuff, I'm like, oh gosh, they're right, and it was terrible, and I can't possibly publish it in that condition. Because if I want to get it into a condition where I can publish it, I need to fix that. Even if it makes me uncomfortable to look at the parts where you're saying, hey, this ain't so great. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to crack open the document and stare at those things and, and construct a plan, because the, the default mode of my brain... Uh, the mode that I operated on for 28 years was the, you know, avoid unpleasant truths at all costs mode. And uh, now I need to operate on the make a darn good book that people want to buy mode. Um, so the good news is, uh, as, as much as it weirds me out and makes me uncomfortable to read things that are critical about my writing and to look at them and to know deep down in my heart of hearts, that the things that these people are saying are correct about it. Um, it's not it's not published yet. It's not out there and not great yet. It's it's right here in my computer where I can fix it, where I can still work on it a little more. Um, and uh, there were definitely really constructive things said in this wave. I'm kind of in the unpacking it process right now where I go through and I kind of just scratch down chapter by chapter what the thrust of the editing suggestions were. Um, so yeah, getting getting to know that manuscript all over again. I feel like I've been away from the, the novel manuscript for so long uh, that it's weird to go back to it again. Um, but yeah, that's that's the that's the big project right now, the current thing. Um, like I said, the short story is going out for beta feedback. I did say that I would work on something game like uh, over the vacation and I did but it's not the thing that I mentioned earlier um, because I don't know if you if you've met me uh, my brain is scattered and flighty because um, I, I talked about the vampire card game thing and you know I started thinking about that and you know scratching down little notes here and there and uh, and then I got on a real Pokemon kick so I thought started thinking you know how would I how would I run Pokemon as a tabletop RPG, and I started then delving into my ridiculous library of role-playing game systems, and then next thing I knew, I was on a Star Trek kick, and then I started saying, well, how would I make this system run Star Trek? And basically, I just 
I, I allowed my mind to roam like wild ranch cattle that can graze the countryside without restraint or direction. And now I'm back to the place where I need to be focused again, so I suppose it was good to be uh, to be that liberated for a while and just follow whatever little creative whims uh, came up, even if it only resulted in, like, a bunch of half projects, uh, you know, only only just barely getting started and getting getting touched. Um, the, the Star Trek thing kind of sparked something. Uh, I think I'm going to hack uh, the tabletop RPG Inspectors. That's... I N S P E C T R E S. Uh, I'm gonna hack Inspectors to run Star Trek and run a one shot of it with some friends. So that could be, that could be pretty cool. Um, I feel like I just dropped all of the words on you guys. Uh, it's it's weird to have this much to say. Tomorrow I expect to play The Sims 3 on the Twitch TV channel again. You can find the link to that below. Uh, we'll we'll hang out. I've missed you, Internet. Let's go play. Let's play games together. Let's do it. Um, and six days from now is my birthday. Uh, this this will be... It's I mean, it's roughly the halfway point. I started this project about a month, slightly more, after my 28th birthday. Um, but it's roughly the halfway point. It's it's kind of a two-year broad, uh, broad project. Um... And let's not let's not dig into that just yet. I was about to launch into it, and I'm like, this episode's getting long as it is. Uh, we'll let it get one step closer to the birthday, and we'll kind of talk about the halfway point next time. There we go. That's actually having a plan. That's good. For now, I'll close up shop with you. You guys have a great week. Have fun. Um, I'll play video games with you tomorrow. I'll have big announcements coming up in July. There are interesting things in the works that I don't necessarily want to... Uh, full-on announce the launch of yet. Um, and, yeah, I, as, as worried as I often am about things, I'm kind of in my happy place right now because it looks like some really neat stuff is coming together um, that I may be able to tell you more about soon. But for now, let's look forward to Thursday when I'll talk about kind of the halfway point. Um, and, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Take care.